guys welcome back to my channel today we'll be doing another tutorial and i chose a fish you know how much i love fishes i've done so many fish tutorials on my channel no well not so many but what uh more than one <laughs> So today I chose another goldfish because goldfishes are my favorite as you know and for this tutorial I'm gonna be using uh, the following colors of course titanium white, red, orange, and cat yellow. I'll be adding some greenish color later but only a tiny bit so I'm not really including it in the main colors because you can actually choose not to do it. It's the last steps guys. So as you can see I've already painted my canvas. This is not a black canvas as I bought it. Um, I only painted it today and I allowed it to dry. So for this painting I'll be using a black canvas because I really want the fish to pop out <laughs> just like it's alive. All right. So I'm gonna sketch first my fish. So I'm gonna use a small brush for sketching. It doesn't really matter what type of brush you use for sketching as long as you get the general shape of the subject. So I'm just gonna get my orange. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow and probably white to make it more visible as I sketch. This is only for sketching purposes. It will be covered later or will be painted over later. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna sketch the body of my fish. I might make it quite bigger. All right, maybe this. All right, like that. And then we're going down. Because we'll be doing some perspective here, the, f the fish body will be in, uh, in motion. Like that. It's like a, I don't know, potato. <laughs> All right, so the same color, guys. Again, we're just trying to sketch here. We're not making any detailing. Later, it will make sense. For now, it looks really weird and as if I'm not painting a fish, right? But I am painting a fish. I will promise you that one. Okay, so remember that this area should always be curved down, all right? Because we're trying to do perspective here. All right, like that. Basically, that's the shape of this fish. <laughs> it looks so weird, but trust me, guys. So I'm going to add more white to my sketching portion. I'm just going to add uh, white and make some uh, fin. Again, this is sketching. So we will most likely, I'll be painting over this. This is not the actual thing. I'm just trying to be general for now. Okay, that's too white but it's all right again this is just the sketching portion nothing really detailed here all right i guess that's it we've we've um sketch it All 
Alright, like that. Alright, I'm gonna wash my brush out and let's now proceed to underpainting the subject. I know it really looks weird to you right now, but later when we do the detailing and as we go on, you're gonna you will find out that this is not really as weird as it looks during the sketching part. So let us get our reds. Maybe mix a tiny bit of orange to that. Alright, and then we're just gonna underpaint this area with it with that color. And for this part, I want you to layer a bit because of the black background that, we're ha that we have here. The black background makes our color quite dull. That's why you need to layer. Make it more thick. This is just my first layer. I'll be doing some more layers later. I'm going to get my cat yellow. I'm going to lighten here up here all right and then get your red just color So as you can see, I'm using thick paint. All right, now get your orange. Just mix it with the red. Alright, and of course, I'm just going to use my finger just to blend the colors. Alright. Orange. Just keep layering as necessary, guys. We may have uh, different um, pigments. Yours might be too orange, so that's enough. One layer, maybe. But me, I just want to layer a bit more. I'm gonna get my cad yellow, a lot of cad yellow, right here. And I'm just gonna blend. And I also have here my hair dryer right beside me so that when I want to dry things quite faster, I'm just going to use that to save time. All right, like that. And I'm going to color this quite yellowish down here. Try to blend. All right, like that. I'm going to use the same color to create some um, like patterns right here. Like that. All right. I'm going to get my cad yellow. Get your cad yellow. Apply some yellowness right here. All 
all right like that and then let's allow this first to dry so now I'm gonna color the rest of the body with some pinky color so I want you to get short white titanium white add some reddish color or, or, I mean red color to make some pinky color maybe like this you can add tiny bit of I don't know orange all right perfect that's the color that I want And I'm just going to color the rest of the body with this color. So it's like pinky orange color. You can I can actually see the uh the black um canvas peeking through my paint. But um we're just going to layer so that it gets fully covered later. Okay, same color. And then here I'm going to add more white. And of course, I'm just going to use my finger to easily apply it. I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get some black. So I need some black. I'm going to create some dark gray color. So I'm gonna get my black and I'm gonna add that to the existing pinky color that I have here. So you can see I made it quite dark. And I'm gonna darken some areas down here. Maybe I darken a little bit more. To create some um, dimension on the body of the fish like that okay and then wash your brush out I'm gonna get my pure black again pure black let's do the eyes so that you can already identify uh, the face of my fish just draw a circle Like that, and then wash your brush out. Make some gray color, the gray color that we have here. Maybe add a tiny bit of white to that. And let's cover the rest of the face with some gray color. right make some more dark pink pink gray let's continue that here then get your white 
tiny bit of black. Like that. Let's make some quick blending right here. I'm gonna make again some pinky colors, so red plus white. Okay. More of that color. down here actually the, the orange are also mixing which is fine because I kind of like the effect so you can see already that it's coming together now right I don't know if you can tell but I can tell <laughs> I'm gonna get my white titanium white pure white you can add a tiny bit of black so that you don't create that super blinding bright white so just go over the sketch that we have here. Just use white. Like that. All right. And then I'm going to use my white again. To highlight the fin down here as I told you I'll be painting over the sketch uh, during the intro of this video or while sketching it I told you that the sketch part will be like most of it will be painted over if not all Let's make some details on the fins. And I just want to use water down white for this area because of perspective. So I'm just gonna water down my white and suggest that it's quite translucent, but it's the same color as the other fins of this fish. I hope you're getting this technique, guys watering down your paint to get that translucent effect right it's like glazing it but not really like that and i'm gonna add a tiny bit of that watered down white right here to suggest translucence of the fin uh if you have your own way of doing translucent um subjects it's all right you can use your uh, glazing medium i don't mind uh, i'm just trying to show you how i do things if you want that if you want your own way it's all right this is my way of doing it um without using any glazing medium because i just i just don't want to bother myself buying those stuff right also here water down your white and gently apply it to create some movement All right wash your brush out oh i forgot there's another fin right here that needs to be okay just water down your white all right now i'm gonna get my cad yellow 
let's go back to certain areas of this painting that need some highlighting so I'm gonna make this quite yellowish the top portion of the body that is um, near the surface of the water so I just made it quite yellowish and also here like that and I'm gonna use this yellow color to quite outline this body of my fish like that and I'm gonna use the same color to highlight this area I'm just using the dabbing technique like that I'm gonna use some yellowy colors around this area as well like that you can see how I did it of course oh, okay I made this mistake all right like that right here I'm just gonna outline okay wash your brush out I'm gonna get my orange plus yellow. Make some tiny detailing on the face. And here, just to highlight the head. So yellow, orange right there. Right, now I'm gonna get my red get your red try to darken some areas I'm also like checking my email while painting. All right, so I just darken some areas right there. Okay, I'm gonna get more dark gray. Get your black, get your white. Just darken this area. Just dab on some gray color because we'll be painting over uh, this area um, to add a fin, another fin, like that. So wash your brush out.
Wait guys, I'm just checking some email here because While waiting for this to dry, I'm just gonna get my hair dryer while you're waiting, guys. So I think that's pretty dry. That's nice. Okay. I'm gonna get my pure white. I'm gonna highlight the top. that highlighting it and I'm gonna use the same white to highlight the bottom portion actually not this white it's too white I'm gonna darken it a bit maybe I'm gonna use some black to gray it all right not too not too white all right I'm just gonna use that to highlight or to outline the bottom portion here as well and using this white let's go create now the other thin like that like that I'm gonna use this white to go around the eye or not around like half around it like that just to highlight it okay wash it wash out I'm gonna get my yellow orange so get your orange plus yellow just mix them together and let's create some tiny detailing on the fin or oh, I mean on the body it's like just do some X X <laughs> just use your X <laughs> so make some X markings on the body to suggest um, the fin I mean the scale the scales I mean like this so just use some X markings like that oh that's nice 
I'm gonna make this top quite orangey. Get your orange. All right, like that. Then I'm gonna make some more gray color. Get your black. Get your black plus white. So dark gray color. Let's darken a bit the under eyes. Like that. Suggest so some dimension. like that and I'm gonna darken I hope this is dry I'm gonna make some dark red tiny bit of orange to make it quite dark all right like that I'm just gonna use that to darken this area Wash your wish out. I'm gonna get again some light uh, yellow orange. I need to go back to outlining my fish. Right. And add some more detailing right here. like that make some dark pink Just gonna get some light orange. This time I'm gonna mix my yellow plus white. Let's highlight. Like that. Here. Just tap. Wash your brush out. Make some gray. I think I need to darken this a bit. It's too white. Like that. Use your black to darken some areas on the fin to suggest translucence.
like that. Wash it, wash out. And I'm just gonna finish some areas because it's not clean. So just remove those colors that went outside our sketch. Alright, get some tiny bit of white. Stab on. Wash up a shout. Make some pinky colors. All right, this is nice. Just gonna continue some details. Okay, get your yellowy colors. This is nice. I'm just going to get my hair dryer. That's enough. Oh, this is nice. Right? But I'm gonna glaze. I'm gonna glaze, guys. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of black. Oh, the yellow is mixing. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of black for the glazing part. So just use black. Water it down. Don't use too much of this color because it's too pigmented uh, in my case. 
and I'm just gonna darken the lower portion of the fish because I kind of want it to be quite dark because it's not really receiving enough light like that and I'm just gonna use my hand <laughs> to spread it evenly again only the half portion of this don't go up only the half portion to make it more dimensional All right, I think that's enough, enough darkening it. And then let's go back to the top and I'm gonna use my permanent yellow deep, that's quite transparent yellow. So I'm just gonna use my transparent yellow and I'm just gonna color the top here. like that and here as well like that so it's quite bright all right now for the last steps I'm just going to use my white, pure white. Let's go back to the bottom portion of the fish. Let's just quite highlight it a bit by outlining it like that. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, I lost control of my hand, <laughs> of my paintbrush. <laughs> but it's all right so again as i was saying let's use pure white to kind of highlight the bottom portion of my fish Let's use some pinky colors. Like that. I'm going to use again some watered down white. Oops, 
That's too thick. Okay, some yellowish colors. All right, wash your brush out. I'm gonna use some black. I'm just gonna like quite glaze the bottom things. I don't want it too bright because it's not, it should not receive so much light in all honesty. Like that. light orange tiny detailing like that oh my god I love it <laughs> I did not expect this one. <laughs> oh, I love this one, guys. Absolutely. I'm gonna get my pure red. Just get your pure red. Oops. Don't mix any white. And just dab on some reddish color. Right here. Like that. Actually, I don't know what this black's doing in there. I'm just gonna delete that. And some areas as well. All right, so we're almost done, guys. We're just cleaning everything now. Just gonna have to clean that. Oh my gosh, she's so nice. 
I like it so much. Let me get some tiny bit of pinky colors. I'm just gonna glaze like that. Then get some more tiny bit of white. Okay, and just make those excess. All right, then I have to sign this now because it's kind of nice. I like it. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of pinky colors. All right, I guess I have to sign this now. I'm just gonna use my remaining white here. Oh, it's too watery. And we're done. We're done! Yay! 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 So thanks so much, you guys. I hope you enjoy this one. I really enjoy this one because I love fishes. So see you in my what next video. What do you think? Should I edit a little bit more? I don't know. I feel like I should edit a little bit more. Get your white. Oh my god, guys. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of red. This is for the final uh for the last time. We're just gonna edit it a bit. I feel like it's looking quite weird. So I just added some tiny bit of curve. Like that. Oh, that's much better. Oh, that's much better for me. I'm just gonna get my black. So get your black. Just define. All right, like that. <laughs> now, if you know me, I always edit after I said goodbye. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm